Developing now, Orlando police are stepping up efforts to find Jennifer Kessie. She's been missing for more than a decade now. She disappeared in Orlando without a trace, but Orlando police say they are still receiving tips to this day. Only few clues have been made public, though, like when her car was recovered. Now, oddly enough, sometimes during the news conference today, the car belonging to Kessie's dad was burglarized. And tonight, News 6's Matt Petrillo is live from where this happened. Very strange. Matt, do we know what was taken from the car? Well, Kessie's dad told me that a cell phone, cash, and his wife's purse were all taken from their car this morning, just as they were surrounded by police here. This is where the chief said today he is determined to solve their daughter's missing person case. We follow up on leads and tips, and you know, until we fi find her, it's going to be active. Orlando Police Chief John Mina today announced new efforts in Jennifer Kessie's disappearance case. The chief showed off this Lynx bus wrapped with Kessie's photo. The chief also said the department is adding billboards around town and that reward money in the case has jumped to $15,000. At the Orlando Police Department, we never stop searching for missing persons. But even as Kessie's family stood behind the chief, after the news conference, they told us they're frustrated with Orlando police. It's a cold case. We don't have anything. Kessie's mom says the family hired their own private investigator to look into the case, and they're now calling on OPD to make their files public. If they don't, the family says they'll sue. It's unfortunate that we have to um, go the route that we're going, but if that's what we must do to get um, some answers, that's why we've chosen to do it. Kessie's dad points out after 12 years, the family has given Orlando police enough time to figure out what happened. Now he says they want police to allow them to help. We understand how hard it is. We understand people make mistakes. I've made mistakes. We're all human, but it's time to get every resource available. But the police chief believes that if this case is turned cold and those files are released, well, that could set a bad precedent. So anyone with information, though, is still being urged to call Crime Line. Matt? Yeah, you can tell that family's still hurting. Matt Petrillo, thank you.